guys here back at tailgaters we're opening today so and this weekend we'll have tournament alive so drop by if you're anxious to play a little pool saturday and sunday today we're going to do tip number 10 so this is the tailgatersproshop.com pool players tip number 10. i got a very interesting concept here today after watching a lot of the online tournaments the stuff we did where you have to play the ghost and you got to figure out you get ball in hand and then you got to run a certain amount of balls to get out what i noticed for sure is that players are choosing patterns that are too difficult draw s spins it's very very important that you learn natural natural position is the easiest to execute i don't care how good you are i don't care if you're andre noel Milo, these players, the drills I'm going to show you soon, the, the top players in the city, these are very simple. They're two simple, simple drills to find natural. And even great players like them use too much side spin and they'll tell you. So getting back to the basics, this is great if you're just getting going, but I don't care if you are a great player. It's like doing free throws in basketball. You still, Steph Curry still shoots free throws and a lot of them. He can expand it out, but you got to get the technique. Finding natural position, I'm going to show you what it is. What the, and I'm going to show you two amazing exercises that are simple, but ultra effective. And even great players from time to time, if they spend five, 10 minutes doing just what I'm about to show you, it will definitely improve their games, okay? So natural means the ball's rolling. If you, it's always rolling, so even if you were to be doing a draw shot, so let's say it's the reason that you would want this to try and play natural. Let's say I, I had a, a shot here. If I can make this ball cut into the corner, it keeps rolling, maybe it comes back out here. This makes contact in this direction and it continues. If you do a draw, it's going like this, stopping, and then completely changing directions. It's doable. Very good players will practice lots, can do it, but it's much more difficult. And the way you can prove that, if you take a straight in shot, let's say like this, and you see how many times you can make the two and roll the cue ball forward and sewer, versus how many times you could make this and draw back in the corner, you're gonna find it's much easier to roll it. So what I wanna teach you is natural roll position. And then from now on, we, I will expand on this in later videos, later tips, but I'm gonna show you how to take that natural position and then your patterns for running out when you get ball in hand. You choose the ones at the beginning where you can naturally make the ball move around. That is imperative, and that's the one mistake I saw players. I remember talking to Cindy Collier or Sandra, and I, I didn't have an opportunity to really expand on it because it's just through texts and stuff. But this is what I would really recommend to them is, or if I could show them is, is learn how to naturally get around and then when you give yourself ball and hand stick to the most simplistic patterns so here's two awesome exercises and if you notice i put this right in this magic rack in the middle of the table because the middle of the table which will be the next video is one of the key components and foundation of all shape so i'm going to teach you like once we once we learn to get there, I'm gonna explain as to why that would be so important. There's many benefits to getting back to the middle of the table. But for now, I'm gonna show you two awesome exercises. If you notice, by the way, I got my little reinforcers. I highly recommend it because in, in drills like this, you put this just off the rail. It's not frozen on the rail, it's just off the rail. You put the other one here. Now, the reason that the enforcers are so important, the reinforcers are so important is it's exactly in the same spot so your feedback when you do the shot over and over is perfect. What I've set it up, so you need to set this up to where if you have no right, no left, just some top, so roll when it's hitting, it's gonna naturally come back here. You don't need, so now it's just a speed shot. So right now, so you set this up to where you shoot it a few times to where it's just more about your speed. Okay, so you 
trying to get somewhere on there. Now, if you notice, I'm going to show you so I put this back. It's very important. I get it back here. If you notice, I'm trying to also cut this directly in here. So I'm working on, but if I undercut it or overcut it, I might still make it, but then it will change the trajectory a little bit. So if you hit a perfect shot, now let's not, here's another thing that's huge on these two exercises. Just because they're simple, we don't skip our free shot routine. And we're gonna stay perfectly still. This is the bonus because we're building good habits here. When you're doing these five minute exercises, use the time to shoot every shot with, with perfect fundamentals. So we're gonna stay, we're gonna exaggerate this. We're gonna stay perfectly still until the cue ball comes to rest. And then we're gonna take feedback from it. Did it go to the right? Did it go to the left? Did it go too far? But we're always trying to come through here. If it's, and then we can just adjust the speed. So I step into the shot and I try and follow through perfectly. So I hit that just a little hard and with a little too much top spin, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here and we're gonna adjust that. Now this is the key. So just a hair less. So just one tip above. And I'm not gonna hit it quite as hard. As you can see, the way I set it up, it might be a little on this side, so it's naturally coming a little high, but that's fine. What we're trying to do over and over is get to this speed. This is the comparative. This shot, just because it's simple, like I said, if someone like an Andre or a Milo, who you spin and everything, I guarantee you, if they did this shot, the next one I'm gonna show you, it will, they can always get back to putting spin on everything. But Getting back to the middle of the table, it might seem simple, with nothing on it, no right, no left, is going to give you the visual of what natural is. And we tend to forget what natural is when we're putting right and left spin on everything. So, get it here. I'm not going to, I'm going to really bear down and get a couple here. I'm going to bear right down and I'm going to try and get a couple of good ones for you and I'm going to exaggerate it. So watch how still I stay. So I stay perfectly still, and I would have hit just a little harder, but I did notice that now I'm more, I'm, I'm starting to find a line. So I'm gonna do a couple more for you. Now I'm starting to find the line and the speed, okay? So I'm not gonna do too many more, because we try and keep these videos short. This exercise, finding the line, getting back onto here. Trust me, trust me, I don't care how good of a player you are, it's great for all levels because you're getting the speed of the table. This is a great warm up. My buddy Ron Benedict brought up a great point. He's gonna be, he's the guy who does all the cues for all the tournaments here when we, and he's coming for the shootout by the way. So if you're gonna need your tips done, Ron is coming. He's gonna be here for the summer shootout in August. He's the guy that does it. He's, he's been doing it for forever. He he's knows pretty much everything there is to know about the Q business. So again, you would have seen him at the last bar box, but he's gonna come down for the shootout. He's excited, he doesn't normally come down for a shootout, but I mean, times have changed because everyone's just excited to get back. So I spoke with Ron and he will be there. So I'm glad I mentioned that, but he said, he said to mention about, you know, when, when you're playing in league or a tournament or whatever, you can't just show up and play. You got to get in some practice. And something like this, as simple as it is, even if you get there for 10, 15, 20 minutes, do, don't play a game because your feedback is not as good. This will tell you all about the speed control, the rail coming off, So and you're learning something. So I'm already certain, and those are the type of shots, you see I'm already, it's like less than five minutes, and I'm starting to get zoned in. So the second shot, we're gonna place the ball here. We're gonna stay on the same spot. And again, this is a very natural shot to get back to the middle of the table. I don't need right and I don't need left. What I need is a perfect speed and staying still. Trust me, like I said, if you do these type of shots, we will expand on this in later tips, how to use, but when you use right and left, 
you're going to know exactly what right and left will do because you found natural first. So I step into this. I'm going to stay perfectly still and I'm going to find natural so it's just me. I overcut that slightly. See, I overcut it so it made it go a little far and a little to here. So, so it's amazing how you're going to, when you start doing this, you're going to, you're going to feel what a perfect shot is. I can almost know right away if I'm going to hit this perfect once I do it a few times. So that's going to be very close to perfect. See? And I'm doing this a few times. You do this five, ten minutes, five, ten minutes, and trust me, the feeling you're going to get of getting back to the middle of the table, back to the middle of the table with natural, is going to allow you to really understand the feedback of when you do put one tip, what that is. Or if I do draw out and come out here. But finding natural first is the most important thing I can tell you. And these two little simple exercises get you back to the middle of the table. And in the next video, I'm going to expand on the middle of the table, center, why it's so important, and the many different ways it can help you. Particularly if you're, if you're an eyeball player, it's like, it's almost anything. But in all games, knowing middle of the table, and I'm gonna show you a really cool concept about middle of the table, and how it'll help you in different areas of your game. But for now, I want you to do not, like, I, you know, you hear me saying this, get off your couch. If you've got a table at home, or if you're in the tailgaters, instead of just playing, set this up, do it, challenge yourself. Say, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna hit, the, I'm gonna hit five perfect ones. This is something that everybody can do. It's just speed, natural. And, and, and it, it's something that will, give you feedback for all other avenues of your game. So do, so do me a favor and practice this. I don't care how good you are, maybe then you gotta say I gotta do five in a row or whatever the case may be. But instead of just playing, give yourself five, 10 minutes of this and you're gonna be amazed at how you're gonna find the touch, the feel. And obviously these can be expanded in all different shots. They're just mere images. But when you're rolling balls in areas and you're gonna just gauge the distance. So please try these two exercises. And the other thing is, is let me know what you think, okay? I want as much feedback about this as I can. I'm trying to, we're trying to, to turn this into something where, where it's as much information for players. Uh, I'm looking at a YouTube channel and stuff like that so that I can Get, I really want to build something for pool players, league players, and tournaments. So as much be if you if there's topics that you want, if there's anything about this that you want expanded on, send me a message, comment. Uh, this is something that I'm building for players, for pool players, is especially league based and league and tournament oriented. So again, that was tip of the day ten, and I'll be back with the next one. I'm going to expand on the middle of the table, and I think there's some interesting concepts that you might not understand about the middle of the table, but it's gonna definitely help you with your game, okay? Thanks a lot, guys.